After speaking with YouTube, I went ahead and called the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette's Copyright Infringement Department to see if they could give me any answers. In reference to um, a copyright infringement, is this the right department for that? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, what I'm calling about uh, specifically is um, <clears throat> syndicated uh, radio show host and owner of Infowars. Yes, we, yeah, we've been getting a lot of calls about this, and I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't know who complained about the um, posting on YouTube, mm -hmm. but what, from what I understand, if YouTube gets any kind of copyright complaints, they just close down that yeah, site or you whatever you right. want to call you're it. Absolutely right, and I have yeah, actually, they don't... I've actually spoke with YouTube as well, and they yeah. said that all that has to happen is they get an official email from the Post Gazette to. Um, I can't remember what the email is, but it's, uh, I guess, the complaints or something at YouTube.com. So well, I can tell you it didn't come from, you know, I didn't, I didn't even know about this. Mm -hmm. So I really don't know who um, complained to YouTube okay. about the article. But, I mean, the, the copyright laws are that if you want to, you know, post our articles, whether it's anywhere, whether it's a website or if it's on a TV show or if it's in another newspaper or a newsletter or anything, even if you want to make a copy of an article, technically speaking, everything in the newspaper is copyrighted. You have to have our permission. Well, and, you know, I, I, I agree with you there. Um, <clears throat> but did you know that, that I, I don't know if anyone's explained to you this certain case where um, Mr. Jones says that uh, he was defending himself because in that particular article, his name was mentioned as, I guess, being a person who was of influence to this man who went and shot uh, and I think killed maybe a few police officers. So, uh -huh. and, um, would that not would that not constitute fair use, considering his name was in the article and he was just defending himself, saying, "Listen, this is not true." I, you know, as far as the article is concerned, we haven't. I mean, we stand by that article as being accurate. Sure. Okay. If he has a problem with that article, then he needs to call the editor and discuss it with him. Okay. So, but, do uh, you know, I don't. I don't know exactly what his issue with it was. I don't know what he had on YouTube. I mean, if he wanted to just, you know, talk about. You know, the fact that he felt that he was wronged or something, I, I guess he could have done that without trying to post our article. I don't really even know if he posted the article, you know, correctly. Yes, ma'am. But, you know, uh, I don't, I really don't know. Would you guys have any interest in sending uh, YouTube an email to retract it so his channel would go back up? And the only reason why I say so is because this is the number one channel on YouTube as far as most hits, uh, most subscribers, um, and it's, you know, constantly been at number one. It's very viral and whatnot. Um, and right now, I mean, I guess his listeners are infuriated about it, and I'm just curious as to if you guys would have any interest in saying, okay, you know, um, we'll pull that, and you know, the channel can go back up because right now yeah. it's suspended because of, like I said, and you said it. What for for all you know, it's know. not Pittsburgh Post Gazette that made the claim. Well, I don't. I I really don't know who sent them the email. I have no clue. You know, I mean, um. I, 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 there's nothing I can do about it, that's for well, sure. Actually, I mean, there is. I'm like, because I, I just spoke with a, um, a woman at YouTube, and she specifically said that if you guys, you know, just send an email in, um, you know, from you know a Pittsburgh, or Pittsburgh Post Gazette email address, and just retract it. You know, hold on just a second. <laughs> have the person's name there that we can talk to so we can find out who complained to you too? Um, yes. No, actually, okay. I don't. But, um, well, let me get you the phone number real quick. Where did I put okay. it? Bear yeah, because nobody here has a clue what's going on with this thing. Okay. And, you know, what more than likely is is, uh, you know, someone who just doesn't like uh, um, his radio show or whatnot and... Uh, yeah, but I mean, technically speaking, he shouldn't have put that on there without permission. I mean, he is wrong for doing that. But whether or not somebody here at the paper complained about it, I really don't know. Mm -hmm. But if you want to give me the person at YouTube, maybe we can at least track down what this is all about. Sure. Just a second. I'm pulling that number up. Computer's slow. I don't like Windows Vista. Well, the good news is Windows, I think, 7 is coming out. <laughs> I will be ready for that. Okay, here it is. Um, now, it was a woman who answered. It wasn't Chad Hurley. Chad Hurley is the CEO of YouTube, but the phone uh -huh. number is area code 650. 
1227. Yes, in the conversation okay. I had with that woman, she said, I mean, she she didn't want to hear anything I had to say, basically. But what she said was, if there's any complaints, you know, if if uh, Pittsburgh Post-Gazette wants to pull it, send an email to copyright at YouTube.com. Mm-hmm. So she did. She did provide a solution, but um, and yeah, I mean, maybe it would give you guys a chance to see, you know, the video. So after speaking with the Pittsburgh Post Gazette, I believe there's a strong possibility that the complaint did not come from the newspaper and actually came either from Google headquarters or from someone who's just not a fan of Alex Jones' work. However, the the fight has just begun to reclaim Alex Jones' YouTube channel. If you'd like to give YouTube and Google your two cents, here's how to do so.